Financial reports are packed with valuable insights, and with large language models, we can now accelerate the process of uncovering them. In this video, we'll walk through how to use AI methods to extract critical information from these documents with Python code. We'll be using AI agents, which are goal-oriented systems designed to work independently and without human oversight, using tools and data to handle complex tasks. Specifically, we'll apply Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG, which is a technique that blends retrieving external information with large language models to produce more accurate and relevant insights. As a case study, we're going to analyze four years of publicly accessible annual reports, also known as Form 10-Ks, of a well-known tech company. We'll prompt the AI agent to identify different types of risks to the company and give an overall risk score. The process includes first creating vector embeddings, which are numeric representations of the text from the Form 10-Ks, and then creating a retrieval tool that will scan the documents to identify information relevant to our prompt. The AI agent will then autonomously work towards the objective of summarizing the main risks identified in the documents, as well as reducing the overall risk to a single number. As mentioned before, this is just an example use of AI agents for financial documents. You can easily customize the prompt to focus on other aspects of a fundamental analysis. This tutorial uses ChatGPT models and requires creating an OpenAI API key. You can do this by going to platform.openai.com and creating an account. The actual cost of doing a short analysis like this is likely to be under a cent, but I'd still encourage you to set a $5 to $15 limit on your account. You can find the link to the full code in the video description below. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more quant finance and AI tutorials. Start by opening your terminal or command prompt and creating a new Python environment with Python set to version 3.12.8, either through Conda or a virtual environment. Then install the following packages through pip, llama index and ipy kernel. Now inside a code editor, open a Jupyter notebook and import these llama index functions and then save your OpenAI API key as an object called OpenAI API key. We then set a path to the financial documents that we want the AI agent to analyze. I'm going to start out by just choosing a single 10K document. The first major step is to load, process, and create vector embeddings of the documents. We start by creating an empty list called documents, then use a for loop to iterate through each PDF file in the uploaded files list. For each file, we use the simple directory reader to load the PDF and append its contents to the documents list. The embedding model is set up using the open AI embedding function for which we specify the open AI embedding model and provide the API key. We then assign this to settings, which will allow us to create a vector store index of our documents list in the next line. This method processes the documents list, generates embeddings using the defined model, and organizes the data into a searchable vector store for efficient retrieval. So we've now prepared our financial document for analysis. The next major step is to set up an information retrieval tool and initialize our AI agent. This is done by setting the model argument in the OpenAI function to choose the language model. Here I've set it to GPT-40 mini, and then I've added it to the settings. This next chunk of code will create a tool for the AI agent to search through the PDF documents. We connect the previously created vector store index with the as query engine method and then place it within a query engine tool. We can give the query tool a name and a description. Next, we initialize the AI agent. The agent is configured with the query tool, the language model we set earlier, and a detailed system prompt. The prompt specifies the agent's role as a financial risk agent. It also outlines the steps for analyzing risks, assigning scores, and formatting the output consistently. Finally, the agent is run with an overarching task-specific prompt. Here, I've made it a reiteration of the agent prompt and given it example questions to ask the document retrieval tool. We can now run this block of code, which might take a few minutes depending on the size of the PDF document, as well as how hard the agent has to work to complete its objective. We can now take a look at the results and see that the agent has given a summary of the different types of risks faced by the company, as well as a final overall risk score. 
So this is just one use case of using AI agents for assisting in fundamental analysis. You might want to look at multiple years of 10K forms or other financial documents, either for summarization or creating quantitative measures of risk that you can feed into a machine learning model. The code below will loop over as many years of filings that you give it and output only the overall risk score, but you can modify it to whatever your use case is. The full code for this tutorial is linked to in the video description below. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more tutorials on the latest AI and machine learning tools.